Tonight we're learning more about one of the victims killed in a shooting Saturday at a celebration of life in St. Paul. Larry Giles Jr., known to many as Chef Hot Hands, was one of two people killed. Three others were hurt. As police continue their investigation, our Kirsten Mitchell brings us reaction from the community of Centerville, where Larry made a lasting impact. I don't know if anybody's got anything bad to say about him. By lunchtime Sunday, nearly everyone in the small town of Centerville had heard the news. This kind of shocks me, actually. I'm surprised. A beloved business owner, Larry Giles Jr., was one of two people killed in a shooting Saturday in St. Paul. Nice guy. You know, very, very outgoing, cordial. You know, he's always willing to help anybody. Larry, a husband and father, was known as Chef Hot Hands. He was raised in Hugo and opened his restaurant in Centerville, offering family meals and catering. When Larry came to us as a city council, I would say about three to four years or so ago, and when he first approached the city council, it was as this guy that was just full of energy, that wanted to buy land and open a restaurant. He was this enterprising young man that really had big dreams. Mayor D. Love fondly recalls judging a chili contest with Larry this past fall. He's looking at it, he's talking about the colors and the vegetables and the things that made him an artist. And it was really noticeable to me as a lay person who just likes food, a guy who really was deep into that side of the business. The Quad Area Chamber of Commerce tells me Larry was determined to build his business and a better life, saying he was enthusiastic about being involved in his community and that his food brought people together in beautiful ways. Thanksgiving, he had a huge uh, layout there for anybody who wanted to come over. The community remembering Larry for his warm smile and generous heart. Every time we had events, he was involved in it. He came out, he cooked food, he sold food. And just to lose that as a part of our community will be really a miss and a loss for us. In Centerville, Kirsten Mitchell, WCCO 4 News. It's still unclear what led to the shooting. Police have not announced any arrests.